Hi, welcome back to Colthic RC. So today we've got the Eosheen EX3 to look at. Which might look familiar to a lot of you because it, I think it's identical to the Bugs 4W. It even says Bugs Series Brushless Foldable Drone with GPS on the box. So this was sent to me to review from Banggood, so thank you ever so much for that Banggood. So this is what you get in the box. So let's just take the items out of the box first. Put the box, two boxes come on top. Then you get the drone, the controller, and then that's all you get in the box. So let's just look at what you get in the box first. So in here, in this box here, you get a spare set of props in a blister pack. Quite a unique way of doing it. It's different, you get screwdriver as well. In here you get the best manual I think I've ever seen with drone and this is including DJI. This is the user manual for the drone. It's in multiple languages obviously but it's very comprehensive. It's exactly the same as the one if you went online and downloaded it this is what you'd get but they put it in a book with as many different languages as you can see. Really nice and you get a quick start guide if you want to avoid all the book and I think that's just in a couple of languages but very good again. I used a quick start guide for setting it up but if you've had a drone before it's quite simple and quite intuitive so that's the packaging in here with the charge which I'll show you in a minute this is the controller and obviously the main event is the drone so like I said it's a 2k folding drone okay one thing I will tell you about this weighs over 600 grams so it's not the lightest thing in the world and fold out so the front fold out to the back first so you can clear the arms. Now what I will tell you is straight away off the bat, this is very nicely made. The quality and finish on the arms when they pull out is really nice. They've got a nice positive lock as you'll see. There's no mistaking where they need to be. Very sp sprung. No hanging wires outside. Some LEDs that are built into the bottom, which I also like. Instead of having a full LED at the bottom, they put a light in there, which I'll show you in a minute. This is the battery it comes with, which is a 3400 7.6 volt. So it's a high volt 2S 3400 battery, capable of 20 odd minutes flight time. We'll talk about that more in the second video when I do the flight test, etc. And it comes with a nice this bit of foam on which is quite clever they sometimes put a sticker on the end to stop the battery engaging on these they put a bit of foam in this is the two battery pack you can buy two or three batteries with it this is the two pack you have a 2k camera built in here with it which is adjustable from the transmitter but there is no gimbal okay so you can see it has got a cushion mount it's got two um, it's got optical flow sensor underneath and two thrown out sensors and then it has landing lights and the landing lights are supposed to help if you're flying it in dusk to give the optical flow more of a chance to work I don't know whether that's going to work or not the props are nice but they're not push on these are screw on props you can see the screws in the top there where they screw in place they are folding and this the top of this is really nice it just has the x3 on this is the only difference i think between the bugs this one this cover here uh, and it's got a peelable thing that i haven't taken off yet but so first impressions on the look of the drone is fantastic it really does look a nice thing one thing you need to realize is just how big this is uh, i'm trying to think if i've got anything close to me that will give me some kind of comparison so let me just show you how big it is so this is a 501 S Hudson and as you can see it's quite a bit, it's not as big, the Hudson's not as big as this, it's, it, this is slightly bigger, taller and weighs a lot more. There is a quite a bit of weight in that battery because it's a beefy battery you get with it. This is the controller, the controller runs on two AA batteries, they go in from the back, it has fake antennas which now seem to be the thing. And then the antennas go up and you need to pull them up on this one because you can't get the phone in otherwise put them down out of the way uh, looks like mine's got a scratch on it and i just haven't repealed the cover off yet it has a camera button here 
a speed button and a light button here. Long press puts your video, single press puts you into the photo mode. It has a unlock button which is standard on a bugs and it's mode swappable. So if you look at my mind on mode one, to change mode you will hit the unlock button when you turn it on, then hold the take off um return to home button. It's just for three seconds in the manual, it's more like six, and it will change from mode one to mode two or back. There's got a wheel here that does nothing. That's your take off and land button, and then that's your gimbal controller on this side. And on the side of the controller, which I love, it has GPS on or off. So quite simply. GPS, if you look at the screen, GPS is on there and it's off there. So you can just fly this in altitude hold mode if you want. So yeah, I love that. So let me just show you the charger because I absolutely love the charger on this thing. So even if you buy the single battery version, I do believe it comes with this charger. Well, I think I know it does actually, you just don't get the second battery. So this is my second battery and again, it's got a bit of foam on. This is the charger. So Back in the day of the Phantom 2 and Phantom 3, I had this type of thing that used to put my Phantom batteries in and it would charge them together. And these were about 10 or 11 quid then. You just put your Phantom charger in there. Well, this is a similar thing. So it takes, if you look on the side, it's got two USB C inputs. That's because if you put two USB power supply, if you plug it into both at the same time, you're going to charge your batteries much quicker because it's going to use both ports to take input of power so it comes with this USB C cable here I'm just going to plug it in and show you so if I plug this into my power bank plug the battery into here and we pop it on charge there you go I absolutely love this power supply the biggest trouble with all these toy or intermediate grade drones is that when you're charging with USB you never know where the charge you're relying on the fact that they might have a row of lights on the top which this doesn't have or, or anything to tell you what your battery level is this thing's fantastic I, I really do love this and it's just by having a very it must be a very thin layer of plastic this with some LED on because you can't see the LEDs when it's not turned on and likewise if I was to pull the foam off this one and plug this in there you go and it's going to charge not the same time it's going to charge them both independently but you can see what i mean if you plug two into the side you're going to get a much faster charge i wouldn't recommend charging two out this is a cheap power bank there's loads of these things about i think this was like 18 quid this is the 20 thousand milliamp power battery bank with two outputs at both at 2.1 amps so i can connect both up to this if i wanted to charge it and probably that's what i will do is charge the batteries up on this these things are a godsend and it's one of the good things about having USB batteries. I just leave one of these, carry one of these things around with me and make sure one's fully charged. And off we go. So that's the charger. I really do love the charger. Okay, say enough about it. I know it's a bit childish because it's got a light on the front but I love the way it looks. So a battery in the back of the drone, simple push in there, two little release locks to get it out. But it's nice and firm when it goes in, you don't feel like it's coming out. It's got a power button on the front and on the top press your button in and you will see a ray of lights underneath these look better when it's dull outside it's quite bright in here but obviously because I've got studio lights on so let's just turn the controller on now this is one of these crafts that you need to typical bug you have to do the compass calibration it's a very simple matter of doing this until you get a different coloured light like I have there. Obviously, do not do this inside, I'm just showing you just to get the lights to go out and then it'll eventually go red and green. So you've got red and green there so the compass will be, would be calibrated. I didn't show you earlier, it obviously has an SD card slot. This doesn't record back to your phone, this records to an SD. Unlike some of the newer drones on the market today, I don't know why we seem to be doing that. And then, as you can see, I'll just show you the gimbal is smooth. So this, the operation on this is smooth. So you'll see it moving the wheel and it's not got an annoying beeper that's going up and down it's silent which is another decent thing so let me show you the app so the app this runs on is an app called x drone i've used the app before but i can't remember for the life of me what drone it was so we're just going to go into that and what you're looking for is drone and then some numbers at the end yours might be different if you get one of these let's log into the drone and then like i say the app is x drone 
Now I have looked at the Bugs Go app and it's exactly the same, but I don't I haven't tried to see if this will work on the Bugs Go app and vice versa. So let's open the app. So this is the app. I'll just move the camera up so you can see something a bit more interesting. There you go. So this is there's the app, and as you can see the screen resolution is quite good, it has got latency. It's not horrendous, but these things tend to have latency, the cheaper models. So as you can see that's your screen so on here you have return to home and then you've got it's follow me mode here got orbit mode and then at the top of here you've got your typical array of things so you've got your height your distance how many bat what's your battery like on your drone battery to the controller your signal strength out and then on here you have your camera control so you can swap it between camera and photo but you've obviously got the same function on here so if I'll press shop press this it will take a photo it's going to save it to my phone because I haven't got a card in here and then if I long press it started video recording at the top again this is going to save to my phone because I do not have an SD card installed but as you can see the app looks quite nice I have used I cannot remember what drone this was that I used this on but it's very similar to a lot of drones that you get now. Now, the map works and it seems to work absolutely fine because I tried it yesterday in a few different places to see if it worked and it does work well. So, I think, let's have a look see if it recorded that video. That's the video it's just recorded so you can get some kind of idea what it looks like. So yeah, it looks decent. Um, so, so far so good from what I've seen, everything works the way it should. So I'll just tell you some specs about this that concern me a little bit. The supposed frame rate of this thing is 20 frames per second. Why? I do not know. So the proof in the pudding is going to be in the video. 2K, 20K, 2K 20 frames a second sounds a bit low. Now, I can't see how I can adjust and change this from 2K to 10, 1080. If someone does know, please leave me a some uh, something in the comments and let me know how you do that because it seems to me like I can't find an adjustment there's some parameter settings but nothing for the camera it might just be me so please if you do know please tell me because 2k 20 frames per second is not going to look the best I can guarantee you that I have purposely not watched any videos on the Bugs W apart from the flight video so I do know what the camera quality looks like on the Bugs so I know what this camera is probably going to look like but I'm not going to say anything until I've actually flown it myself and I can see the video footage to make sure it hasn't been cut to by YouTube what I've watched before. So this is a bit of a longer unboxing and initial go through than I normally do but I wanted to show you what you get in the past because the package is a decent package. I can't remember the price off the top of my head. I think this with two batteries is like £140. Something like that. It's probably like the price of the F11 was when it first came out. That's now dropped, I believe. But when the F11 came out, I think a two battery pack for that was that kind of money as well. I'm going to be very interested to see how well this thing flies. I think it's going to fly really well. The build quality, the motor selection and everything else tells me that it's probably going to be a decent flyer. And it's Eoshin Bugs or JGRC uh, X11 because I believe that's the same drone as well. I have seen the X11 flight, flight and it looked decent so let's see what it looks like when I do that. So I shall have the video up in a couple of days or so from the footage so you can do a flight test on it. I'll show you what the camera looks like, I'll show you how it behaves in the air. Does it drop when we're turning? Does it hover well? It should do with the sensor underneath but we'll go through all that. Thanks ever so much for watching, have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.